welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be doing a get ready with me and a vlog. I will be showing you guys how to do this Valentine's Day look. It is a pink purple smoky eye. Also, stay tuned for a short vlog for our little celebration tonight. The first step, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. And then taking my Kevin Aquan Precision Eyebrow Pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyebrows. And as you can see here, I am lining in small strokes. Then taking just any concealer, I am going to sharpen my eyebrows by doing this and just concealing my brows here. Then taking a taper blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend the concealer away. Then taking a primer, eyeshadow primer, I prime my lids first. Then taking any pink shadow, I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio. I'm going to pat this over my lids. And as you can see here, I'm really packing on the color. Then taking the Naked 3 palette and the color Dust, I am going to sweep, or using a windshield wiper mode, <laughs> windshield wiper mode, and just blending that in with a blending brush. Then taking the color Nooner, I'm going to go ahead and blend the colors. Then using a blending brush, I'm going to take the darkest color Black Heart from the palette and in here, I'm just going over my crease. As you can see, I am looking, I'm just going over the crease area, and then I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend it out. And when I'm blending, I'm using circular motions and taking my time doing this part because you really want to make sure your eyeshadow is all blended. Then adding more of that dust color in, onto my lids, I'm going to go and pack that on. Then I'm taking a mauve shade from my Carly Bible palette and just go over the crease area where I place Black Heart, the dark eyeshadow, and blending it. Taking my Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk or however you say it, eyelashes, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes. And when I do my lashes, I usually don't curl or put mascara beforehand. I know a lot of people do that, but since I have really short eyelashes, I would skip this step and just go ahead and place my lashes on first and then curl them afterwards. And then I'm taking a color corrector here. I'm using a red lipstick and just color correcting my dark under eyes then taking a concealer and just concealing away. And like I said in my previous video, you can actually skip this step if you don't have dark circles. But since I do, I always put concealer first. Then I'm gonna just cover up my birthmark here with the concealer. Taking my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I am going to go over 
my face with a foundation brush and this L'Oreal foundation and just blending it all out with the beauty blender later. And as you can see here, I'm really packing on this foundation just because I want a thicker and fuller coverage. And taking my beauty blender, I am going to blend the foundation out. Then for highlighting, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Light and just highlighting in a downwards triangular motion. Taking my highlighter from L'Oreal Magic Lumi, this is going to add an extra highlight to my face. And this is actually a dupe version of the MAC Prep and Prime, and it actually works great. And here I'm just blending it with my beauty blender. I'm taking a Maybelline gel eyeliner. I'm using the eyeliner in the inner corners of my eyes since I didn't use eyeliner for this look, but I'm gonna go ahead and place a little eyeliner in the inner corners just because I don't want that gap from my lashes. And as you can see here, I am really careful with my lashes. Then taking an eyelash curler, I'm just gonna curl it all the way, just making sure my natural lashes and my real lashes, my natural lashes and my fake lashes blend. And I'm using Maybelline Falsies and just coating my mascara and taking my Carly Bible palette in the dark shade brown, I am underlining my waterline. And adding an extra concealer, I'm just concealing my under eyes. And taking my Physicians Formula Bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face with this. I decided today not to use a cream contour just because I want more of a softer look. So I'm just contouring my face with bronzer. And when I contour, I also do my jawline and down my neck just so I don't look like I'm wearing a mask and that my face and my neck matches. Then I'm using the same bronzer and just contour my nose. Taking a blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that contour out. And since I think my contour is a little too harsh, I will be going back with the Beauty Blender and just patting it. But for now, I am using the Anastasia Brow Gel and covering my brows with it. Taking mascara, this is a trick that I learned. I am coating my eyebrows with mascara to give me a darker brow look. Taking my Laura Mercier powder, I am patting this under my eyes to set my concealer. And also my highlighted area. And I also place the powder underneath my contour. This is gonna give me a sharper contour look. 
Taking a stippling brush, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the powder. Then I'm gonna take the highlighting, pink highlighting shade from the Carly Bible palette and putting it in the inner corner of my eye. Taking this blush from the Tarte Energy Noir palette, I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my cheeks. And blending it away with the Beauty Blender so that it blends. Taking this golden bronzy highlighting shade, I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the top of my nose. And the top of my cheeks. Taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Pencil in the color Liar. I am going to overline my lips. And I really like overlining my lips just because I like the full lip look effect. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in as well so that when I put a lipstick on top, the colors will blend. Taking a nude lipstick from Revlon, I'm going over my lip liner. And then taking a pink lip gloss, placing it over the lipstick. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Hey everyone. So right now we're gonna go ahead and get ready and gonna go to my family's house for Chinese New Year's dinner and then we're gonna go to celebrate our birthdays. Happy birthday! so sad. Okay. Cheers! Did you take one? Yeah. Oh. Well, fuck this. Cheers! Cheers! Happy birthday, Chris! Happy Chinese New Year! Oh yeah, I still need to subscribe to your channel. <laughs>